Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how air flows in a fridge with the bottom freezer. The concept will be similar for other fridge models as well, although the location of the ducts will vary. This is a very common design which has one evaporator coil located at the back of the freezer behind the wall. Below the coil there are two return ducts from the fridge compartment and at the bottom of the freezer wall there are two openings to allow air in from the freezer. So fridge and freezer air is pulled in from the bottom, it flows up across the coil which cools it down and then it's blown back into the fridge and the freezer. All the airflow is created by the evaporator blower fan which blows air partially into the fridge through a duct at the top and the rest of the air is blown into the freezer through the openings in the grill. Let's follow the airflow inside the fridge now. Cold air comes up from the freezer into this junction which connects the freezer vent to a vent built into the back wall of the fridge. The air then travels up through the back wall and it comes out from the rear and top vents inside the fridge compartment. To control how much air flows from the freezer to the fridge, this model has a damper behind the back vent which is controlled by the freezer temperature dial. When the freezer dial is set to a colder temperature, the damper moves down, blocking some of the airflow, and when it's set to a warmer temperature, the damper moves up and allows air to flow unrestricted. To find the most efficient temperature setting, you can use a fridge and freezer temperature thermometer like this one, and if you're interested in one, I will have a link to it down below in the video description. Once air comes out from the vents at the top of the fridge, it will then flow down over the shelves, then it will flow over the vegetable trays and back to the freezer through the return ducts at the back of the fridge. In case the return ducts are blocked, air from the freezer will not be able to flow up into the fridge and there's a simple test you can do to check if the return ducts are blocked. Just open the freezer door slightly while checking the airflow inside the fridge and if the air starts flowing a lot better with the freezer door open, then the return ducts are blocked. So we have now completed the airflow loop. This is the other end of the return ducts from the fridge which come out below the evaporator coil. And I'll show you one more common problem that can block airflow, which is a faulty defrosting system. This evaporator coil has a lot of ice built up on top because the defrost system is not working properly, so the air can barely flow through it. This causes the airflow to the fridge to be much slower than normal, and if the fridge cannot maintain the proper temperature, it may end up running non-stop, or it may run for very long periods of time. If you found this video useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, your support is really appreciated, and consider subscribing to my channel, I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching!